Good evening, beautiful people of Lake Orion, Michigan. I hope you're having a marvelous day. It's been a beautiful week. My name's Ian Witherspoon. I'm your host, and I am Between Terminas. Look at this nice, loving pen, though. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the program, ladies and gentlemen. We got some chock full of. You're shaved. I'm. Sh you're shaved. Why'd you shave? I had not picture shaved. date. You had picture we date. Yeah, picture date. So you had to shave. Yeah, picture date and scripts. Yeah, we where, had picture date. Where were you laying laying across everybody with your? No. Where were you at? Front I was, center. I was front center having a, taking a good picture of my shop footage. Wow, that's very cute. Did yeah. you have picture day today? I had it on Monday and sadly I wasn't in the picture. You weren't in the picture. No. Nope. Why? I didn't make it on time. You didn't make the cut? Oh, man. Well, that's all right. You can look at our pictures. Because my picture day was Tuesday. I heard Jason Lawton didn't make it. He didn't make it. Are you outing him live on TV? No. I think you are. <laughs> all right. Well, I don't think they want to hear about picture day no. of middle school track teams. So let's get into some sports talk. And let's start with a local university that we all know very well. Mm -hmm. That is the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. They are now no longer in the Summit League. They are in the Horizon League. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. Initial thoughts. There was a reason why when Coach Campy came on the show a few weeks ago that we did not talk about the Horizon League. You're not allowed to discuss anything. Affairs. That, yeah, you're Current not supposed affairs. to discuss affairs that are going on. Pending until, affairs. Until, sure. it, until you get all, the all clear to do it. <laughs> and yeah. then get the all clear to do it. So... They had to make the announcement first, you mm -hmm. know. So, yeah. but personally, my regards on the move between Oakland and Horizon, I say uh, it's a great, great move because you look at the travel, the travel, you're going to, sh you're going to play games in Chicago. You got to mark, you got, you're going to play games in against, in Cleveland. You're going to play, you know, Who, you're going to play What in Cleveland Indiana. schools in Horizon League? Cleveland, uh, Cleveland State, State, Wright State, State, oh, okay. Wright State Youngstown and Youngstown State. State. Where's Kent State? What, what Kent State's State? in the MAC. In the MAC, excuse me. Well, excuse here's me. what but, I... Uh, but I, I am excited about the rivalry with Valparaiso, the mm. arch rivalry with Valparaiso, because Oakland back. and Valpo were arch enemies in the old Mid-Con, Mid-Continent Conference. And if you've noticed, a lot of the teams that are in the Horizon League, with the exception of the University of Detroit, we're all former Mid-Continent Conference. Well, members. wait a minute here. I mean, like, you know, can you get excited about Oakland against Detroit? Because, yes. you know, a lot of people blamed Detroit for Oakland not moving to the Horizon League sooner. Yeah. I think this move is a great move for the university because, one, lessons to travel. Yeah. Two, you know, you don't have to go out to – um. Nebraska or South Dakota or North Dakota anymore, you know, you're just like wasting half your, almost three-fourths of your travel budget, and now instead you got more bus rides mm -hmm. and maybe a plane rides. Well, Wisconsin. also too, the fans, you know, you get to see, you get the fans coming to these games more. You get the, um, I'm excited because as a fan, I can actually go to these games, to go, go to these road games. I can go and say, take a, take Garrett Colosier out for a game or two at, a, at like, Valparaiso or Wright State or somewhere. Would know, he be taking Detroit. you out? I think he'd be taking you out. Well, but nonetheless, I mean, okay. that, you, you, you're, you're getting my you point. Dinner? You're getting well, my point, thing, oh, you know. Yes, well, maybe. this is what I like about the move going to the Horizon. The conference tournament. Oh, because yeah. Because mm -hmm. usually when, when the Oakland's in the Summit League, they had to go to Stu Falls, South Dakota. Now you get to host your conference tournament <laughs> if you're the number one seed. That would be great. If you look at it here, let's say if Oakland had the number one seed, then they would have games at the arena. That'd be great. Which that would be great. I know that the university require or the conference requirement did state that the um, the, uh, the arena had to host five thousand people. 
Ooh. Oakland falls below that with 4,005. 4, so, and how what many I've Joe heard. Lewis hold? Do you know how many Joe Lewis holds? Different topic. Okay. But what, um, it's 20,000. Uh, but what we're talking about is, 20, um, is that the Oakland University president, Dr. <laughs> Gary Rusty, talked to the Horizon League commissioner, and it's very, very likely that the Horizon League commissioner, Mr. LeCrant, is going to give <laughs> Oakland a waiver and allow Oakland to play their conference games at the arena. But Bob they LeCrant? have discussed <laughs> but they have discussed playing games at the Palace of Auburn Hills as well. But you'd have to rent the place out and that would be very tough to do. So they can't play any conference games in an arena under five thousand? Or they can't well, host that's, a conference that's a tournament. Well no, they can't play any conference games. But they're gonna probably be granted a waiver and they'll allow Oakland to play at the arena. If they're not granted a waiver, that's gonna be this is a waste of a move. No, I think it's a great move because it, it's a because I mean it's it's a great move because of the because it lessens the traffic. Well, also, the RPI is a lot higher because the RPI in the Horizon was 12th. Summit League's was 19th. You look at the R. So I mean, chances of Oakland playing some bigger competition that's going to go down a little bit because of the um, because of the the high RPI that the Horizon League has. You look at the quality of teams that Oakland's going to play this year in the Horizon League, Valparaiso, Detroit, Wisconsin Green Bay, Wright State, uh, Youngstown State, teams like Milwaukee. that. Yeah, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Cleveland State. The teams like that, they're going to, they're go they all have high RPIs. So I think it's going to benefit Oakland in the long run playing well, those Oakland's teams. Oakland's got to play a tough not conference schedule to start the year. Yeah, to go to North yeah that's true. But I'm talking about conference schedule. That's going to be tough to start off. But Oakland's got the team to do it. How does this affect the Summit League? I think it hurts them because, well, maybe not because, mm -hmm. um, maybe not because, like, you know, you bring in Denver, you bring in Denver, you got Nebraska, Omaha, you got, um, you know, I think, I think it makes it North Dakota, I think the Summit League is moved geographically west, and I know Eventually, the I IPFW and IEPUI is going to want to move out, maybe Western mm -hmm. Illinois. They're not maybe. welcome in the, in the They're Horizon probably, League. I don't know. The Summit but League, we'll see what that, remember I've talked about in the past about balance of power. Oakland and Oral Roberts and IEPUI had that balance of power a few years ago when I was managing. But then the power seemed to shift west towards the Dakotas, North Dakota State and South Dakota State. So... In terms of the balance of power, that's going to impact. Uh, I think that was a big reason for Oakland wanting out of the league. But also, too, they weren't happy you know, the was in as Sioux far Falls. as as far as we'll discuss that later. But as far as other sports like baseball, there the minimum you can have of teams participating in a conference tournament is six. The Summit League only has five institutions. They're going to have to apply for a. Um, for a two, they have a two-year grace period. I believe this is the first year of the grace. No, they have six right now. But they'll have to apply for a grace period and then for two years. And then they'll have to see if they can get a waiver from the NCAA. If not, they're going to have to disband baseball. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think that as far as Oakland leaving the league, it's going to impact the, the Summit League based on base, mostly on baseball. But in terms of, you know, swimming, in terms of, all the other sports, it's going to be like good riddance in a sense because Oakland was dominant in swimming. Oakland's very good in men's soccer, very good in women's soccer. Also, the women's basketball team is pretty good. Also, baseball starting to get their act back together. And don't count out softball and don't count out track and field. Aside from Valparaiso, who do we see emerging? As Oakland's biggest rival is it Detroit? Detroit, yes. Detroit. Any Detroit. any any other team aside from Detroit? Valpo. Is, is this going to be as advertised? With I think uh, it'll be as advertised because yeah. you know with Detroit, Valpo, you know Green Bay starts the reunition of that rivalry. Milwaukee, of course, you know got Wright State, who Oakland lost to in the um oh no mm -hmm. in the um yep. CIT la no, and the CBI no. last year. No, they lost to Youngstown State oh, last Youngstown year State in the CIT. Year, the CIT. And then they lost to Wright State you know, in so 2011. They fits, lost Oakland, to Cleveland Oakland State. Oakland fits, they fit well in the Horizon League. They fit right when. They, they fit, fit right in with the Horizon League. I mean, Oakland's played a lot of those teams. Um, I do say the biggest winner of outside of Oakland coming in, with, in terms of the Horizon League teams, I'd say Valparaiso's the biggest winner because then Valparaiso was considering moving out of the Horizon League. Now this gives them 
and sent it to stay Where in the Horizon League, Missouri Valley. Mm. All right. Any final thoughts? Anything we haven't touched on with the move? I think this is a great opportunity for Oakland. Cleveland great State's day. Happy. I know that. Oh yes, I know that a lot of the Horizon League teams are happy that Oakland is in. They were lobbying for Oakland to get in for a long time. Detroit finally just, you know, said, okay, why not? We'll let Oakland come in. I'm glad that Detroit did that. Also, for the Summit League, I expect the Summit League will be just fine. They'll, they'll bounce back. They got a couple good members in Denver and Nebraska in Denver coming in and also Omaha. We'll see what happens. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, okay, great. We'll see what happens. Uh, when we come back, there's some playoff hockey to talk about right here on Between Terminas. <laughs> Welcome back to the program. Thank you for tuning in this evening. Uh, there's a big game on tonight. Okay, the Red Wings take on the Ducks, best of three at the Honda Center. Guys, first off, before we touch on the game tonight, I know you both watched the game on, on Tuesday. Yeah, or on Monday? He was sleeping. You watched I it. I had work. I had Come work. on. You taped I it? I had work. You taped it, but you watched nope, it later. He didn't. Nope. All right, he you didn't. watched Anyways, it. Let's, All right. Let, let's address it. I will talk to Sam. We're going to mute his mic. He oh. was, he's, he's too busy. Uh, was that a great hockey game or a great hockey game? It was a good game. I mean, I thought. It was a great hockey game. It was a good game, but I still think. No, that let's talk about the game. The pressure is on Anaheim. Why? Because a lot of people thought Anaheim. I was surprised Anaheim would even take a game in Detroit. Mm. But, yeah, well, they but should. you know, you just got to give props, you know, to D Damian Bruner. You know, Detroit had, it was a hustle they play. needed to win that game, and they got that game, and then game five is the critical game. But, you know, Detroit had to overcome, and they overcame what they, I mean, they overcame. I mean, like, but, um, you know, we'll just see what happens tonight with um, the pressures now all on Anaheim. I will say this. There is. The Wings have had success in Anaheim. Yes. Especially in the regular season. Yes. They had. They did have a had tough game one. In Anaheim they did have the a tough season. game one and almost blew game two. But yes. I will say that I, I believe that there is more pressure on Anaheim as well. I think that Anaheim is, you know, Anaheim, you have to defend home ice. Well, doesn't and it have a lot to do with seeding as well? Well, being I, a second seed, you're expected to move on. No questions asked. Yes, yeah, so the second seed, yes. But this isn't but, your ordinary but this seventh isn't, seed. But the Wings aren't your ordinary seventh seed. That's right. No, it's not. Yeah, that's right. You just said it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, anyways, my point is, you know, this, to be honest, this is the Red Wings. This is the Red Wings have been there. They've done that. They've been in lower seed, and they have won games as a lower seed in their history. They've also you know, lost Detroit the moves, higher seed. Yeah. You know that if Detroit moves on, they're going to be playing Chicago in the semifinals? Good. Uh-huh. Here's the only thing that is interesting about this version of the Detroit Red Wings, the 22nd straight playoff version. Uh, it's that they're young, okay? Not all of them. Here's how the play to end the game went in overtime. Kendall to somebody who's also young, Anderson. Huh? Anderson. To Anderson, to Nyquist, Bruner buried it. All rookies. Wait, Kendall's not a rookie. But he's still young. He's still a very young guy. That was that's that's your overtime. You know, that's a that's a line in overtime. Yeah, but look at the guy who scored the tying goal, Pavel Dad. Yes. You know, a lot of people said he was going to go back to Russia. Well, he might. He still might. Yeah, he's you got know, one year left on his contract. One year left. You know, I mean, like, I think that Detroit is going to overspend and re-sign him next year. But you know, mm. but you know, Detroit. It's got some young talent, you know, in their system, especially in Grand Rapids, that they that they could that they feel confident enough to do this. You know, I mean, like they felt like they were the big losers in the um, Parise and Tudor sweeps that both of them went to Minnesota. Yes. But you know, let's look, what, let's look what's happening yes, right now well. with Minnesota. They're one they're one game away from being eliminated. Right. You know? Well, you know, you can't. No one's beating Chicago. No one's going to beat Chicago. So you can't. But for Minnesota to be the AC, it's pretty bad. Well, also, too, the question I have to ask you, Ian, is yeah. does, the wings, does the wings honestly 
implode and build off that young staff, that those young kids that did so well in overtime? Do, do they, they implode? Well, I'm talking about do you get rid of guys like Dazduk and Zetterberg and Franzen and no. Abdicator? Franzen, sure. Abdicator's still young. Um, I'm not sure about Abdicator. He's still fairly young. But he's, he's not had a great season this year. He's, he's kind of turned. He's kind of turned it on in the playoffs. He found a little his role. bit, not a little bit, not. He found his role a lot more than he had in the regular season. In the regular season, what he was he floating around, around and he scored one goal and it was an empty netter. You know, in the playoffs, he's kind of. In the end of the season, he's kind of found his niche but role on the top But don't forget line. too, the Wings have had success against Anaheim, as as we alluded to earlier. Okay. They beat them in the regular season. Yeah. They've had their number. The Wings have had the Ducks' number. So. In many ways, you're correct that there is much more pressure on the Ducks to not only win this game, but they're the higher seed and to win this series. Right. Well, the thing I like about the Wings right now is that they are young because always the knock has been, they're too old, na 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 Well, now they have a, a young core that is actually starting to play. I do not yeah, trust but the time out. The old core. Time out. I want people like Samuelson. Why did we ever sign him? I don't know. Why did we sign Tutu? I don't know. These guys are old. They are not productive. Tutu didn't even play. He's, he's a healthy scratch, I think. That's pretty bad. Babcock, this is why I like the young guys, because Babcock. I like Babcock. And he can shape and mold these young men into Red Wings. The older guys are kind of lost. Franz who do you want making... between Babcock and Scotty Bowman? Tell me who you want. Well, obviously, who do you want? Scotty Bowman. Obviously. Then but you is said Bowman that you coming like back? Babcock? Is Bowman coming back? No. Then I'll take Babcock. I still think Bowman's better coach. He pr well, I think his cups speak for themselves. He won with Pittsburgh. He won with Detroit. He won with Montreal. He won with Chicago. He won with Chicago. He's in the Chicago front office now. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, you can't touch Scotty Bowman. Possibly one of the best coaches of all time. But Babcock's here. Babcock's a grinder. We got some young grinders. I think if we can... I think what the hang on if we can if we can weave the young boys, the young ducks, the grinders, the workhorses, you're in my shot. If we can weave the young boys in with with the finesse players like Zetterberg and Datsu, Franzen's kind of a finesse Agnil. player. Eastern Conference next year. Um, I think we have I think we can have something. We need some more signings next year. Have though. fun the Eastern Conference. Have fun the Eastern Conference yeah. next year. How, how, how was the golf course today? Awful. What'd you shoot? <laughs> 73. 73? That's yeah. pretty darn good. Wow. You're better at golf than hockey. You'd there, be quiet. Dallas. Next year, and yeah. hey, we took one of your guys away. Who'd you take? Jim Nil. He's my new GM. Oh, good. Good. You can have him. All right. Yeah, you. You're on the golf course, too. He's going to get the number one pick. I get the number one pick. Who, who are you taking? Here comes Seth Jones. Seth Jones? I don't know who that is. He's good. Where's he from? No what college? Oh, I have no idea. You have is, he, is he better than Datsuk? Yes. Okay. All right. I got Anaheim. Any other tonight. final? Th you got Anaheim. Anaheim What's wins the score? Tonight. What's the score, Cowboy? Five one. I think Wings win four three. Okay, I like that better. I think I'm going to call it right now. Jimmy Howard's pitching no hitter. No. Yep. Shut out. I think the Wings will win in six. I think Anaheim in six. Okay. I said it. Good. They're not going to win in Detroit, by the way. No way. They did no win way. in game three. They're not doing it in game five or four. Six. Or six. Okay. That's hockey talk. Very spirited with these two wing nuts. And, uh, <laughs> no. Not yeah. Wing nuts. Not wing nuts. Yeah, it was great. It was pleasant. Uh, mm -hmm. When we come back, we're going to talk a little Detroit here on Between Terminus. <laughs> 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 hey, this is Mickey York from Fox Sports Detroit. When I want to get the inside scoop on local sports, I watch Between Terminus or Fox Sports Detroit. We want a habitat home. I love working on my habitat home. Soy dueño de una casa de habitat. My neighbor is a Habitat homeowner. Being a Habitat homeowner has changed our lives. My mortgage payment for Habitat is less than what I paid for rent. Habitat for Humanity of Oakland County currently has homes available with mortgage payments lower than most rent payments. 
If you or someone you know needs decent and affordable housing, call 248-338-1843 or visit our website at habitatoakland.org. Welcome back to the program, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're here on Between Terminas on Owen TV, as always. And uh, unfortunately, the Tigers have not played in two days, which is killing me. It's killing but me. But they did take care of business. They did take care of business, Anthony. They took care of business. The Astros they didn't need suck. To use the Astros suck. They're they a terrible team. They might be the worst in the history of the league. Okay, in the history of the game Are of you baseball. Saying it maybe but worse? they bombed them like they should have. Okay, did what they needed to do. It was great tonight. I'm very intrigued to see them take on the Nationals. It should be a good series. I mean, they have they're going to play two, two games. Two games, yeah. Hopefully, it'll be, it'll be good. It'll be a good matchup, I think, because like they got Jordan Zimmerman on the mound, mm -hmm. you know, and then um, Sanchez. Tigers and then Annabelle Sanchez, and then of course, and then the next matchup you've got. I'm a little worried about this one. Rick Porcello on the mound. Well, you're always you're always you know. But you yeah. know, at least I was glad they didn't have to use Jose Valverde for um a series. They used him a couple Didn't games. Didn't they have to use they him? They used him a couple games. In game two of the series? Yeah, game two. When Avila, my man, you know, Avila. top of the ninth, two-run homer, mm -hmm. take the lead. The Tigers did what they had to do, which was they took care of business against the lesser opponent. God-awful team. Yep, they took care of business. They did what they had they to do. They still got to go back to Houston. I like, I like that, they, that, they, that they went out, they played, they scored a multitude of runs. An a all multitude of, multitude of runs that whole series, and now they get now they play the Nationals. I think that this is a big series for the Nationals because I think the Tigers, all due respect to the other clubs that are leading the Tigers, the Tigers are the class of the American League. Well, the Tigers are rolling right now. They're winners of nine out of their last ten, mm -hmm. and are the Nationals? What are they? Five hundred? They might be five hundred. They have not yeah, been. Yeah, Bryce as Harper. Yeah, okay. but, they, but the Nationals Sunday, aren't the Nationals aren't you know they haven't lived up to no. their billing yet. Whereas the Tigers have up to this point. Pretty much, yes. I think it's a big series for the Nationals mm -hmm. to defend home field and to kind of prove that they can run with the big dogs. I agree. But I think it's I think a big series for the Tigers. I think Washington's weather thing was very crazy, you know, because what? it didn't rain, it didn't rain that bad ye uh, yesterday, and, it, and it, they had to postpone the game. Why would you do that? I don't know. You could just play in the rain. They could have just played that game. Well, you guys, I want you to call up Joe Torrey and, and discuss that with him. Yeah. Have you ever thought about weather jobs, perhaps, with the MLB? Who knows? You Never should think about that. I'll think about it. You should go into that. That'd be a pretty lucrative uh, business. Maybe. Yeah. That'd be great. Anything else you want to say about the Tigers? Tigers just keep on winning, keep on hitting, keep on pitching. And then they come home, they play they the Indians. Home. Yep. And, and they uh, play the Astros again, too. Uh -huh. The Indians will be interesting, though, because oh, yes. they've been winning, too. Mm -hmm. so not as the Terry Tigers Francona. are. Terry Francona, their lineup is much better. Yep. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I can't wait to play the Royals. And Ryan, and our yeah. buddy and your friend Ryan Rayburn. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's been doing well for them lately. Yeah, Ryan Rayburn. Okay. That's who the Tigers should bring back. I know it's Joe Johnson's favorite player is Ryan Rayburn. <laughs> Do your call. All right, gladly. That was bad. All right. You know. My first call out involves somebody that, obviously, in response to Oakland going to the Horizon League, he said some things very negative about Oakland going. He also said that Oakland going to Sioux Falls, we always complained about it. Saul Phillips, North Coast State head coach. Saul. What? Simple. Yeah. Look, it's a sim can you blame Oakland for having to travel the farthest to Sioux Falls? It's 18 hours. How many hours do you have to go? Probably two. Oh, come on, man. that's a joke. You know, if the, if the tournament was at the Palace, would you be complaining of the same thing? I would say yes. So, Phillips, I like the Oakland-North Dakota State rivalry. I'm sorry you feel the way that you do about Oakland, the way it's that, well, that Oakland's a bunch of whiners. That's a joke. That's a joke. You should be ashamed of yourself for that. You know? I thought you were classier than that. I guess I was wrong. Ouch. I guess I was. Ouch. Ouch. Big my big next song. call out my next call out involves two guys who sports views are ludicrous, who has said that I'm the worst shot put coach in the business. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
who has said that Ian Weatherspoon is the best shopper coach agree. in the business. Who are these cool guys? <laughs> and also want to come on and proudly debate us. The sure. Wood Boys. The Wood Boys. The Wood Boys. Oh, Kyle yeah. and Ryan. Oh, oh my dear, God. Bit. Why? Simple. Look, I think your sports views are nuts. The, the thing that you talk about, you talk about saying that University of Detroit's the best, best team around. I know you're joking at the uh -oh. same time. But uh -oh. that's in the conference kind of, now. Yeah, now that they're back in the conference, now that they're in the Horizon League, you wouldn't be doing that right now. You guys want to come on the show, you know, there's open form. Take care of it. Feel free. Come on the show. We'll talk about it. All right. Well, you know, I look at a bunch of losers, you know. Are you showing the biceps off here? I look like a bunch of losers. Yeah. go back. I look like a bunch of them. I look like a bunch. I mean, <laughs> look like a bunch of losers. But the big loser here of all this, I'm going to call out first of all, is Titus Young. Titus Young. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why would you decide to just be a complete moron and have an attitude problem with the, with the Detroit Lions and not playing beside Calvin Johnson? So, okay, you get your release. And then, of course, what in the world are you doing going out in the street, getting caught by a cop, and then got for drunk driving and arrested for it? Oh, okay, so you go to jail, you get bailed out. And then 15 hours later, you want to get your car back. You know, you decide to hop over a fence, and then you get busted again. Why? Why would you do that? Instead of now you're facing, you're going to be facing, instead of like, you're going to be facing more charges, even more time in the slammer. If he got his car, was he going to drive through the fence? If he got his car back, what he was he going to do? I don't know what he would have done. Wow, you are really He's like a modified thing. version of cops. He needs to change his attitude. He's got a kid for crying out loud. You know, Ouch. take care of your kid instead of being, getting, getting your B.I. busted twice by the local authorities. Titus Young Sr., you're a disgrace. You're an embarrassment to your family. You're an embarrassment to, to <laughs> football. You're an embarrassment to the league. Good grief. That's all she wrote? I think I had one more call. I think you did. Yeah, one more I call. did have one more call. Come on, get the to it. The guy I'm going to call out next is Dennis James. Dennis James, why? That didn't do anything. Oh, oh. All right, I'll call him out next week. Dennis James oh, is lucky. Dennis James is lucky. lucky. He's lucky. <laughs> all right, well, good call outs. Good job today, boys. <laughs> um, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, you, you yelled yeah. pretty hard there. We've had a little been under the weather both the last Sammy's few days. Sammy's been under the weather? You okay? Yeah. yeah all, right. all right. Okay. All right. Got Pontiac tomorrow. Got Pontiac tomorrow. Take care of uh, Pontiac, all right? See what happens. Okay. You good over there? You surviving work? I'm surviving. Okay. I'm just surviving. Did I, you get paid I love yet? the people there. I love the people there. They're great people there. Did you get that cash money yet? Um, I've gotten yep. one check. But there you go. I've nice. Been, I've been spending it. Oh. You didn't buy me anything, but no. Nope. All right. Well, we need a new set around here. This place is looking a little, a little dingy. No way. Okay. All right. Well, we're getting the finger wave here, so we're gonna we're gonna go, and uh, we'll see you folks next week. Really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, take care and enjoy yourself. God bless now.